Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and happy new year. So the first video of 2022, I thought of making a video uh, sharing with you what's inside of my saxophone case and showing all the equipment that I use every day. So to start off, I my saxophone case, the alto saxophone case, I used a bag from the guard. It's called the guard bag. Um, and this is probably the lightest case that I can find in the market. So that's the main reason I bought this and I'm very happy about it. But also it can protect the instrument quite well. Let me show you. So once you open the case, it's a very interesting structure. You see these cup-like material that goes directly into the bell and it stops from the instrument from moving while you're carrying the bag. So it's, it's quite a neat design. And so this is my alto saxophone, uh, Yamaha Custom A75 gold plated. And I've been using this instrument for about 15 years and I'm very happy about it. Um, it's still shiny and pretty and it plays beautifully. I have another video of reviewing this instrument in detail, so please also check that out. Next, you're going to find the mouthpiece pouch and mouthpiece. So I'm using the Van Doren mouthpiece pouch and in it, you're going to find the mouthpiece. So currently I'm using Salomar S9180. For many years, I played Salomar S9170, but some years ago, I changed it to 180, which has slightly wider tip opening, and I'm very happy about it. For the ligature, I'm using Ishimori Woodstone gold plated ligature. And for the cap, it's a Dario mouthpiece cap. Next, you're going to find my neck and neck pouch. So I'm using the BG neck pouch. And inside of it is Yamaha gold plated V1 neck. Next, you can find the neck strap. Recently, uh, I'm experimenting with this neck strap. This is the new neck strap from Protec. It has the very popular uh, chest bar that releases the tension from your neck and it has nice padding and it works quite pretty well. So I'm experimenting with this neck strap. At the moment, I quite like it. Uh, I prefer in general a neck strap that has a pivot point at the back of your neck so that whenever I move the saxophone, it feels natural and then my armature does not get affected. If I use shoulder type of neck strap, then pivot point is closer to your chest and that's very difficult for me to control. So I have another neck strap that I use these days. Uh, just that. This is the old Yamaha neck strap, which is nothing special, but pretty comfortable. Now let's turn the side of the back and if you open, you're going to find this. This is a portable cup and I use this to put the water and also the reeds before I start playing. I usually put five different reeds at once for, and wait for a few minutes and then all the reeds will be ready to play at the same condition. And this method works quite well for me. Perhaps in the future I'm going to make another video discussing how to shape the reed and how to maintain the reed. Next you're going to see, very important, very timely, a uh, special mask to play the instrument, play the hole for the mouthpiece to get in, and also the bell cover. So these days I'm teaching uh, in school, and school requires teachers and students to wear the mask and put the uh, bell cover because it's pandemic. So it's it's a necessary item. Okay, now let's go into this side of the case. Let's open it. I'm going to see my reed case. So I'm using the Dario reed case okay, which has reeds. It works really well. You could fit eight reeds. Now I also have another uh, reed case, the Dario case. And I'm using this for my performance. I'm using these reeds for my lessons. So lesson reeds are not perfect but slightly thinner, slightly easier to play. So that's how I am kind of maintaining my energy when I'm teaching and I don't have to worry about ruining good reads while I'm teaching. So this is, I have two cases. 
Now, this looks like a business card, but inside, it's a very important item. You're going to see, this is a cleaning paper for the pads, but I use this to protect my lower lip. So, let me show you. So if you take out one of the paper, usually you use this to clean the pads, but you fold it, fold it twice, three times, and four times. And put it into your mouth. And put, and put this on the lower teeth. And if you play that, you protect your lower lip. This is probably the most important item. Without this, I really can't play the instrument. And after experimenting with different kinds of paper, I really like this Galax uh, cleaning paper. And unfortunately, this is from Japan, Japanese company. So whenever I have a chance to go back to Japan, I buy a bulk of it. If you're in the States and want to get something similar, uh, you could get uh, oil paper or facial paper from Muji, which you can get from Amazon, and I'm going to put the link down below. So next, you're going to see uh, cleaning clothes. So sometimes my instrument gets slippery because of the water or oil, so I wipe them off with this clothes. So this is from Yamaha, and it says professional clothes. It feels very nice, so you can find this online. And then you're going to see uh, my backup mouthpiece and ligature. Again, for the backup, I have same Z90 180. It plays similarly. Once I dropped my mouthpiece right before the concert, and it shattered in front of me. So since that experience, I always make sure to have a backup with me. And then I have uh, Ishimori, Ishimori Woodstone. This is a silver ligature. It plays great. I have another ligature. Uh, this is the Harrison gold plated ligature. This is a replica made by a Japanese company and it plays fine. And finally, I have this swab to clean this instrument inside of the instrument. And I'm using the Yamaha cleaning swab, which is in the color green. So it works very well, it dries quickly. That's what we need. Besides my saxophone case, I always carry another bag, a briefcase or a backpack. And inside of that, I always carry a saxophone stand. This is a portable saxophone stand from K&M. It's called Jazz. And it's very light, very small. It works very well, very stable. So it's very, it comes in very handy. Looks like this. You put saxophone. And voila, it stays, it works perfectly. And finally, I carry iPad in my backpack. And this is a game changer because you could basically carry your entire library. And also if you connect to the Wi-Fi, you could get into the access to any library and get any music. So this is very important pedagogical tool for me. So that's it. I hope it was entertaining and interesting. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.